Another reaction is the addition of hydrogen cyanide or HCN across this. Now we don't necessarily need HCN, we can have the cyanide, cyanide polyatomic ion like KCN or NaCN and then follow this up by an alcohol workup. Now, unlike water, this is not a reversible reaction because what we're forming here ultimately is a carbon-carbon bond. So how does the reaction occur? Well, we've got a cyanide ion, C minus, and an H plus. And much like water where we had a negative hydroxide, the scene here is going to attach, attack the carbonyl carbon, promote our double bond to lone pairs, and subsequently have our lone pairs attack the H plus to give us the nitrile. But again, a big difference here is that we're not seeing the reversibility error. So once we do this addition of HCN across the double bond, we're not going to be able to pull it back off because what we're doing here is creating a carbon-carbon coupling reaction. So if we want to add a nitrile group um, adjacent to an alcohol, this is the type of reaction we would run. And we can do this with both aldehydes and ketones.